Group six is um, the area where the students have the opportunity to explore their passions and their interests. Um, it's the area that they sort of get to choose what would suit them. And um, they have lots of choice in group six actually, and it's um, normally an option that students really enjoy doing. I think the freedom that the students get is more so in group six than any other group. They can specialise in particular media, they can uh, choose their own direction in their own project and choose a theme or a topic for that project. So that really gets them to excel because they can um, use their own interests in order to, to develop their work. One of the benefits of Group 6 is that there's not actually a written exam at the end of the course. There's uh, modules or components throughout the two years that obviously combine to give the student the overall grade. So students enjoy that sort of uh, freedom um, and it takes away a bit of the pressure that they don't have the exam at the end of the, the two years. We've had students who have studied um, theatre arts go on to a variety of different th um, careers, some of them within the theatre or film world, but also lots in marketing. It's also highly regarded in business if students want to study theatre art. So um, I chose high level drama because I wanted a subject where I could use another skill. It's not sitting down and studying every single lesson. When I start studying revision, it's not a subject where I just have to sit on my own and really intensely focus. It's an opportunity for me to like let out some energy and enjoy myself and like express my interests in specific areas of the world where I wouldn't necessarily, how I wouldn't normally express them. So maybe researching like Victorian melodrama, which I've done, it gives me an opportunity to research something I want to research and I enjoy researching, so it's much more focused about myself. I generally chose um, high level IB theatre because I think, um, as Lizzie said, I, I did want something practical to do because I think IB can be generalised as quite a uh, uh, like a, a hard-working, um, studious thing to do. So it was definitely good to have something to, to blow off steam. I also looked into it and the fact that a lot of it is, um, is coursework instead of general final exams means that I think it is definitely something I can use to um, uh, keep myself motivated throughout the, the two years because there's, there's always something to do that's important. So I chose to study art at a standard level to, um, for a creative outlet just to balance out with my other subjects. So I was planning on doing interior design for university, so that's what I'm doing DT as well. But I chose art because it's going to be really helpful for DT and also because I really enjoy the subject. I find it really interesting and I find it really entertaining. A lot of students um, go on from studying the visual arts to look at architecture for example. We've had about three or four for the past three years that go on to specialise in architecture. Other um, areas might be to do with set design or even product design. Um, equally, technology can often work side by side. Uh, so product design, graphics, all of those can benefit the student and encourage them really to get their ideas going so that they can enter university with good knowledge and informed opinion. Like it, it is really great that we have we can choose our own directions so for the final project and the exhibition for the IB and yeah we just have a lot of freedom and we can choose whatever we want which is really nice because we can be really creative and it's really going to improve our project because we're working on what we like. So if a student wants to study the arts, either music, visual arts or theatre um, it isn't a hindrance if they haven't done GCSE music or GCSE art in the past. If they've got a natural flair or passion for any of the subjects, they can study it and they can build up their skills through the course. And that's a really nice part of the IB, particularly in Group 6, the fact that they can come in with an interest in the subject, having not had any formal training in the past, and still come out with the highest possible grades. High level music at Hot Crawl, because I've, before the IB, I was involved in the music scene here quite a bit and it seemed like a, the natural progression to keep going and be a part of the community still. Um, so yeah, the IB course this year, we 
are studying lots of global music uh, and the history of music. Um, so we're able to do our own research about the different genres and really get a like thorough understanding of different types. And then we are able to then use that knowledge that we get and produce our own using Logic Pro and Sibelius and create our own music that we love, which is really nice. So the music course is brand new this year and the listening exam, uh, which was in the past, is no longer present. So the students are effectively doing portfolio work. So they're developing their skills as researchers, as creators, as performers and collaborators. So across several units, they will look at independent skills like developing their skills on their instrument or on their voice. Um, as creators, they're looking at composition skills or improvising and they will gradually build up a bank of knowledge and a bank of skills where they can apply all of their musicianship to create portfolios which are then externally or internally assessed. Um, the collaboration element is also very important and for those that do high level music they're able to work together with students from the other disciplines where they put together a project um, which could be a concert, it could be a theatre performance with music, it could be scoring music with a choreographer, it could be working in collaboration with a sound engineer to put on some kind of production that they would then present as a presentation to the IB examiners to showcase their work. Yeah, performing at Hot Crawl is pretty endless in terms of what you can actually do, uh, especially with the IB. Uh, it ties in quite nicely with CAS because I know a lot of people in previous years have made their CAS projects uh, a music event, like a, a jazz night uh, and things like that. Uh, and they're always nice to play in and also um, hopefully I'll do my own one of those as well. There's the college big band as well, which is quite uh, reputable. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really fun. So when I was in year eight and year nine, I went on the music tour both years and we met up with our partner schools in Italy and Spain, which was really nice because there were also students on their exchanges. So we were able to meet up with other years. Uh, we toured around France and Spain in the first year and then Italy, Belgium and Germany, I think, in the second year, which was amazing. We even got to play at um, Disneyland, Paris, which was pretty cool. Um, and got, got to play in amazing different locations, which was really nice. If a student wants to study IB music and they want to carry on at university or music college, then obviously the course is for them. But there are plenty of students that like to have active musical lives outside of school and they keep it as an extracurricular activity. So those that study the IB may not necessarily want to go on to be professional musicians, but they want to keep that part of their life active. So they will go on to university and join orchestras or ensembles. They may like to compose in their spare time and they just may like to work as amateur musicians when they're adults. So the course gives them that training, but also gives them the skills that um, are really appealing to um, other professions. So for example, if a student has played in an orchestra, they've got teamwork skills, which they can then transfer to other walks of life. And that um, is a real draw for those that have studied the arts that then want to go on to other areas who've got that experience and that background. So music is something that I'm extremely passionate about. And so I've tried to weave it into as many subjects, uh, non-musical non subjects as I possibly could. And um, so in TOK, I've tried to use knowledge in the arts and as much music as I can in there. My maths IA is about music and waveforms and uh, pitch. And my social anthropology IA is about the links between jazz musicians and, and drug taking. And so I've tried to get as much music out of all other subjects as possible, which is quite nice to do.